오늘따라 유난히 더 예뻐서 날 괴롭히는 이 순간 In finding the sum and product of roots given the quadratic equation you have to first find the roots before you get the sum and the product Okay, so in number 1, we have x squared minus 4x minus 32 equals 0. So let's say I'm going to use by factoring. Okay, what are now the factors of negative 32? I use negative 8 and 4 because if I'm going to multiply negative 8 to 4, it is negative 32. And then if I'm going to add negative 8 plus 4, it is negative 4. Okay, so the factors now are x minus 8 times the quantity of x plus 4 equals 0 and then equate both with zeros to get the values of x or the roots x equal uh, x minus 8 equals 0 and then on the other side we have x plus 4 equals 0 so transpose negative 8 on the other side it will become 0 plus 8 what is 0 plus 8 8 so transpose uh, positive 4 on the other side it will become negative 4 so 0 minus 4 is negative 4 therefore the value of x here is negative 4 now since we get the values of x which are 8 and negative 4 the roots now are 8 and negative 4 okay to get the sum of the roots so we have to use uh, the formula for the sum of roots which is r sub 1 plus r sub 2 equals negative b over a okay for you to get the values of a uh, a b and c you have to go back with the given quadratic equation so the value of a here is 1 the value of b is negative 4 the value of c is negative 32 now let us substitute uh, this uh, in sum of roots your b is negative 4 that's why it is negative 4 but we also have a negative sign in the formula so negative and then times negative 4 over the value of a which is 1 so negative times negative positive therefore the sum of root the sum of roots is 4 and then for the product of roots we have r sub 1 times r sub 2 equals c over a and then we will substitute what is the value of c negative 32 negative 32 over the value of a which is 1 so negative 32 over 1 therefore the product of roots is negative 32 you can also get um, the product and the sum of roots by adding the the roots and by multiplying the roots for example what if you're going to add 8 and negative 4 what will you get is it 4 yes it is because 8 plus negative 4 is positive 4 so that is the sum you can also do that or you can also write the formula and then substitute in product, multiply 8 and negative 4. So, what is the product? It is negative 32. So, if you have the roots, you can just add to get the sum or you can just multiply to get the product. Or, you can also uh, write the formula and then substitute to get the sum. In problem number 2, we have 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. So, let's say I want to choose by quadratic formula to get the roots. So, we have the value of a, b, and c. The value of a is 3, the value of b is negative 2, the value of c is negative 1. Okay, after writing the values of a, b, and c, write the formula or the quadratic formula x equals negative b positive negative b square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and then let us substitute so negative and then negative 2 the value of b positive negative the value of b which is negative 2 squared minus 4 times 3 the value of a and then c which is negative 1 all over 2 times a your a is 3 Okay, so negative times negative, positive. So 2 positive negative is square root of what is uh, negative 2 squared or raised to 2, 4. 
Now, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 times negative 4, it is positive 12. So, that's why plus 12 here. What is 4 plus 12? 16. Okay, by the way, the denominator is 2 times 3 here. That's why it is 6. So, again, going back uh, with the sum of 4 and 12, it is 16. Okay, all over 6. Now, what is the square root of 16? 4. That's why we write 2, positive negative 4, all over 6. Okay, we equate both with positive 4 and on the other side, it is negative 4 because it is positive negative. So, 1 positive 4 and then 1 negative 4. Okay, so 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by or over 6 is 1. 2, min 2 minus 4 is negative 2 over 6. Uh, let us simplify by dividing both sides we by 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's why negative 1 third. Therefore, the roots now are 1 and negative 1 third. Now, to get the sum and product... So, this, the sum is r sub 1 plus r sub 2 equals negative b over a. So, the values of a, b, and c, use that to get the sum. Your b is negative 2. And then, in the formula, we also have the negative. So, it will become positive 2 over the value of a, which is 3. So, 2 over 3. So, that is the sum. How about the product? We have a c over a. So, the value of C is negative 1, and then your A is 3, that's why negative 1 third. Or, you can just, since you have now the roots, you can just add 1 and negative 1 third. If you're going to add 1 plus negative 1 third, it is positive 2 third. And then, if you're going to multiply to get the product, 1 times negative 1 third is negative one third so that's now the final answer the roots the sum and the product